Tristan and Jess from East Leeds. How does it feel for me? November 2022. Tristan's school update. How has Tristan been in his first term at high school? He's not made many days. Just under less than half of the term he's done. It's been really difficult. Did his primary school and high school work together to enable a smooth transition for Tristan? No, because I think what happens is he went for transition days and when he first started, primary school just go, right, this is what we've got. But then that's it. There's nothing else. As in that adaptation and really understanding Tristan, it's just, it's not been there. Since September to now, I think we've had about five meetings with school. He's obviously, he's not coping. What are you going to do? And five meetings of the same thing over and over again. One is exhausting, but two, you kind of think, what more does it take? What has your experience been of getting an education and healthcare plan in place for Tristan? For the EHCP to be seriously considered, you need to have the educational psychologist to do a report. So educational health psychologist, has agreed to meet with us to do a report. Then the next big thing is for the this EHCP is rather than school going, yes, we'll apply for an EHCP and do all the paperwork, I've got to do it. I'm just going to try and collect as much evidence as I can. But from a lot of forums that I've been on social media, parents are just getting rejected left, right and centre for the EHCP, so then they're having to appeal. and So that's a whole other challenge. Can you describe any support that has been put in place by Tristan's new school to manage his condition? Tristan had had a day of being in the library, basically, because it's nice and quiet, the lights are low, there's no manic changing, because these are all triggers for him, you see. He comes out of school and he's like, oh, it was a much better day, it's much more manageable. OK, but they didn't give me any work. No work at all. So I emailed head of year and I said, thank you, you know, thank you generally for the quiet space. However, why are they not being given any work? Response I got was, because we work with the government guidelines, children are expected to learn in a classroom setting. I understand they've got to learn in a classroom setting, but where is the equal opportunities and the right to an education, whether you've got a physical or mental health disability, If you cannot cope, where is that right to an education? Following on from that is um, he's got a reduced timetable. So instead of doing double lessons, he does single lessons. He has notes in his planner where he can walk around the building if he needs that time to break off. And when I talk to Tristan about it, he finds it hard, one, not only to function with pain, but then two, to go and be like everybody else, be expected to do the same amount of work as everybody else, but when he's missed so much, and then you go, okay, well, I've got to go to class and I've got to do this, but actually I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So then what he's started, what he's started to do is go, I don't want to go to school. You know, why do I have to go to school? Well, what's the point in going to school if they're not going to set me work? What could the school do to support Tristan more? I think they need to really recognise, just like anyone with ADHD or autism, you know, what he's going through is something real. Provide work for him, not necessarily with a teacher. I get they might not have the resources and they might not have the staff, but to just simply get his work printed and give it to him, give him a space where he can work, quietly and if he needs to go back to class and ask a question let him i think you know if they've missed so much of a subject there should be some sort of after school input so they don't fall behind and that constant review i almost feel like they need like a bit of a program of like a back on track program of you know if he's if kids have missed so much the like just and if he's missed so many maths lessons then they need to put something in place for that Thanks to Jess for sharing her experience.
produced by Healthwatch Leeds in collaboration with Ro Lara.